we're going to do what we do best around here, and that's bring you to some great local restaurants that serve up equal portions of both food and fun with our very own Dave Edelman. It really is true, Dave, that sometimes for restaurants, having good food is kind of only half the battle. Look, I eat out every meal, okay? But I do the fine dining thing less than 1% of the time. Right. I mean, restaurants are in the entertainment business Show me a good time. All right, so let's go to some places that are both food and fun. We're going to start at a, at a restaurant where you and I have both had some excellent, excellent meals. It's in Worcester. It's named Bocado. So tell me what you like about it. Absolutely love this place. It's got a very cool, sexy vibe. You see a lot of groups of women just having an awesome time. First dates. Of course, I love small plates, Dan, because I love to get a taste of a million different things. And they've got the Spanish meats and cheeses, amazing bacon wrapped scallops. They they have seven flavors of sangria, including watermelon and pomegranate. Mm. But the most fun here is drinking right out of the Peron. This is how it's done in Spain. <laughs> the sparkling wine is poured out of this special glass bottle. Be careful, Dan. One time I had a couple too many drinks, and I tried this, and I looked like a uh, water fountain ornament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, just, you, look like the, you look like the Bellagio was <laughs> coming all over your suit. It One was... of my friends thought I was trying to do the flash dance scene. Yeah. It was... All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm a maniac. Uh, all right, now let's go to another place for food and fun. I know you like the small plates of Bocado. Let's go for big portions of food and fun. You're going to go to King's. That's the place to do it. I mean, the kings of food and fun, known for their high tech uh, bowling alleys but it's so much more I mean they have the huge screen TVs and great music and multiple bars their kitchen turns out excellent food Dan I love their ginger sesame chicken wings and hand toss pizzas but the way to have fun here is to get your bowling lane they have a separate sit-down restaurant and they will bring the food and drinks to you so get some steak tips get some hand cut fries and a scorpion bowl that you can bathe in that's a fun night yeah that is an extremely fun way to to do it right there at Kings. Okay, now that's a good place for bowlers. Now let's talk about golfers. You and I are not much uh, golfers, no. really, but uh, we can get on board with this place called Chip Shots Pub. It's in Littleton, Mass. Explain how this place works. Yeah, it, listen, don't take your wife or your girlfriend here on Valentine's Day, okay? <laughs> it's, it's not that kind of place. But if you want to have a good time with some good pub grub, this is for you. They've got your pizzas, your burgers, your buffalo wings. Nachos are huge with lots of sour cream, pulled pork sandwiches smoked on site, and you can play video golf. Now, golf is not my game. I like boxing. I don't know of a restaurant where, like, a guy just comes over and punches you in the face. Hmm. But here, I you would can love play. It if you went to that, <laughs> if you went to that kind of restaurant, I would be psyched. Here, you can play your video golf. Two golf simulators. You really have a, a great time in an affordable way to hit a few buckets of balls, have some beers, and some good food. And you can always just sit there, have some beers, and punch yourself in the face. That would be fun for me. Okay, one more place for food and fun. Here we go, Dave Edelman. You're going out to eat. Always fun to get a little bit more involved than just ordering, sitting down, and eating your food. If you want to get really involved, like really kind of interactive, a place called Fire and Ice. They have a, a few locations in New England. It's really a lot of fun. Yeah, a popular spot with a unique concept. So they do stir fries where you choose the ingredients. You walk up there, you get your vegetables, your meats, seafood, all kinds of sauces. You put it in a bowl, you walk it up to this giant Mongolian grill, and the chef guys make it for you right there. You're interacting with them. It's really a good time. I think the most fun at Fire and Ice, though, is Sunday brunch. I mean, you wait for Phantom Gourmet to get over, you're hungry, you go in there, and they do omelets, pancakes, crepes, all fresh to order. Have some fun with the grill, guys. Go right back to sleep. Go right back. Punch yourself in the face. You got yourself a Sunday brunch. Thank you, Dave Edelman.